welcome back to my channel so today's topic is air conditioners and its impact on health so let me give an insight on what health impacts are we facing because of continuous use of air conditioners and we are as we all know we are uh, getting into this uh, ac concept and everybody uh, sits in ac rooms for various purposes but let me tell you what are the health impacts caused by this ac and its use so all of us uh, would love to sit in a ac room during summer especially but let me tell you it has got a very harmful impact on the health and uh, let me uh, prove that with few statistics so just to tell you that 1 trillion kilowatt hour of electricity is consumed just for ac maintenance and that is approximately twice the amount of energy that is utilized by africa for all its purposes you can see how much electricity has been consumed by the ac itself so previously this ac was a something like a luxury but now it has become a necessity because of the heat waves that are generated everywhere people are switching to acs they, they want to see uh, be comfortable they want to have a nice uh, uh, area where they have ac room and they sit in that but let me tell you it is going to have a negative impact on the health so that will be dealt now i'll tell you some details on that so coming to the bureau of energy efficiency they are coming up with the more energy efficient systems so that uh, the energy requirement for this ac systems can be reduced to some extent so we you might have heard about two star three star four star five star labeled uh, uh, equipments that are available now so based on the star rating the energy requirement or usage by that system decreases but the cost of that instrument increases so approximately 12000 people are dying uh, every year annually uh, they are dying because of the heat waves that are generated so this heat waves might be indirectly because of the ac use so according to who that is the world health organization by 2050 more than uh, 255000 people would be killed annually because of the extreme heat waves that will be generated because our because of our negligence so direct or indirect emissions from the ac that can increase 0.5 degree centigrade uh, 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 increase can happen in the global warming we know that these kind of uh, uh, cfcs or any other uh, refrigerants that are used in this acs can get leaked out and that can indirectly lead to global warming so in this way a lot of heat stress will be generated which can uh, be a issue and uh, we know that these refrigerants can get leaked out because of some uh, uh, malfunctioning of acs or any other issues with the acs and these uh, have got more potential to Uh, absorb the uh, greenhouse gases so they can absorb sun rays too much and that can lead to a problem of global warming so in this way if we try to increase our ac uh, requirement definitely it is going to have a negative impact on us because of the global warming effect because of the gases that are released here which absorbs heat and leads to more warming of the earth so even though these uh, refrigerants are in small quantity they can trap the uh, heat 1000 times more than the heat that is trapped by carbon dioxide so that is why this has uh, gained a lot of importance and we have to see to it that this can be uh, solved by some uh, by some way so before going into the detail of the health impacts let me give you some detail on how a ac works okay so we should know how a ac works so coming to the ac functioning of a ac so there are different parts in the ac like you have the compressor you have the condenser coil you have the expansion uh, valve and you have the evaporator coil so these are the various uh, systems which are there in the ac and initially it starts from here so first what happens is we have this refrigerant uh, within the ac system so that can, they can be different refrigerants that are used and uh, recently they are using some r23 and some more uh, other refrigerants might be used so this refrigerant will be compressed in this compressor so when you compress the refrigerant we know that when we give compression we increase the pressure and increase the temperature and this uh, uh, refrigerant becomes vapor so this will be uh, initially in the form of vapor so this vapor as it moves through the pipeline here and it reaches the condenser coil what happens is there is heat exchange that is happening and the hot air which is there inside is expelled out there is a fan which continuously moves here because of which the hot air is expelled out and as the uh, heat is expelled out the gas which is here starts converting into liquid so still it is in the liquid form but it is at high temperature so this comes down here and we know it reaches the expansion valve 
So expansion wall is directly opposite as that of the compression wall. So here in compression wall you compress it to form vapor but here in expansion wall you can convert that back into low pressure cool liquid. So that is done in the expansion wall and once the low pressure cool liquid comes that is given to the condenser coil. So in the condenser coil you have the low pressure cooled liquid that is coming and this uh, uh, the indoor air that we have in the room the temperature will be high and here the temperature will be low. So we know by the law of thermodynamics that the heat flows from a higher temperature to a lower temperature. So the heat which is there in the room starts absorbing and that is absorbed into this uh, evaporator coils and as it is uh, absorbing the heat it will start converting back to vapors and the cycle again continues. So in this way uh, typically uh, AC works and it makes your room cool. So just telling you a little bit details on the impact of AC on electricity consumption. So we all know that uh, people may like to keep the AC temperature at 20, 19, very low temperatures. But this will in turn increase your electricity bills. So ideal temperature to be kept which might be comfortable for everyone is 25 degrees centigrade. And let me give you a, a, a detail here to show you that how your electricity savings can be done. So this is a small formula to calculate that. So percentage saving is given by new temperature minus old temperature by outside temperature minus old temperature. So outside temperature means the temperature of the area where you are in and new temperature and old temperature is the temperature that you are setting. So in this way you are trying to use it. So if you are trying to keep it at 25 degree because uh, you are using this system previously you were keeping at 20 degree. So if you are increasing it by 5 degree you can do a saving of electricity by 20 percent. So definitely this will be a benefit for the people who are using AC. So in case you are using AC try to keep it at higher temperature slightly higher which might be comfortable also for you so that you need not pay too much on the electricity bills. Once we have uh, known little bit details on the positive side of it let me see uh, tell you a few negative impacts of uh, air conditioners. First important problem of air conditioners is it might lead to a lot of respiratory problems. Because you are sitting in a controlled room, uh, uh, the uh, circulation of air is not too much, it is within a room, you are uh, more uh, chance or more vulnerable to a lot of respiratory infections. So you can have throat infections, pharyngitis, so this kind of uh, uh, infections can increase in you. It might, one reason might be the AC is not cleaned properly because of which you might face these issues. So the respiratory problems are one major challenge or negative impacts of AC. And coming to viral infections, this everyone knows now. After this COVID infection and COVID uh, pandemic that has happened, definitely we know this is one more issue. Because uh, imagine there is a person who is infected with COVID in an AC room and he sneezes. We know that there are bioaerosols which are released and this can spread within the indoor, uh, indoor air because of the recirculation. This will lead to a lot of issues. So that is why uh, in case uh, uh, anybody is infected with the COVID or any other viral infections, he should not sit within an uh, AC room because there is a chance that he can uh, transmit the disease into, to other people who are within that room. So care has to be taken there. So in case you are suffering from any kind of viral infections or any kind of these problems, you should not sit within an AC room. Not only that, AC can have also negative impacts on your skin. It can lead to various dry skin issues. So you might have seen that people who sit in AC for too long, if they go out to, for sunlight, even for little time, they get this uh, uh, tanning. Uh, the sun tanning is too much in them. This is because of the dry skin issues that they have. And uh, if you sit in the AC room, just imagine you're sitting in the AC room for very long, definitely you will not feel that thirsty because you're in the AC room. That will lead to dehydration issues. So there are a lot of issues that are coming up because of uh, sitting in an AC room. But the most of the workplace now might be AC. You cannot uh, resist that. But in case uh, other times when you are free, please do not sit again in an AC room to make your life more miserable. So in this way, you can try to avoid as much as possible so that these kind of negative impacts which are there can be nullified to some extent. That is because the AC, it absorbs the moisture. So it absorbs the moisture from the room actually. But you are also there in the room. It does not uh, differentiate between you and something else. So it will start absorbing the moisture from wherever source it gets. So when it absorbs the moisture, it absorbs the moisture even from the skin. 
So that is why your skin becomes dry. It's, you may have some itching sensation in your skin. And it even hastens the aging process. And nobody wants to get aged uh, at the early stage. So this might be one reason where you need to think about. And uh, according to uh, a cos uh, cosmetologist, uh, air condition aggravates skin disorders. So they have done some studies on that. They have proved that it leads to a lot of dry is skin issues, aging issues. So this has to be taken into consideration. So as I told you, AC will pull the humidity from the uh, air in the room. It is not a selective process. So uh, as it is removing humidity from the air, it will remove the moisture content from your skin also. So that can lead to issues. So if you are having uh, uh, these issues, some remedies for that could be uh, you can limit your use of soap and water. You can try to use a lot of uh, moisture-rich lotions. And you can keep hydrating yourself by sipping in water every now and then within an AC room. And if you forget to drink water, please keep reminders and see to it that you drink water. Or keep your water bottle in front of you. That is the best option. So that you, you see it and you remember that you should drink water. And uh, again, one thing that you can do is you can place a small bowl of water in that area. So that in case the AC wants to suck some uh, moisture, it can suck it from that bowl of water which is there. Uh, to some extent, at least your uh, skin can be con uh, the, uh, what do I say, the uh, moisture that is uh, absorbed from the skin can be reduced to some extent because you are giving a bowl of water from which it can be extracted. The other common issues with the air condition or AC is migraines and headaches. So this is the most uh, commonly seen side effects of air conditioner. So if you might have seen that you're not used to sitting in AC rooms, you sit in an AC room for a day, you might get certain times, you may get headaches, migraines. So these kind of issues are commonly seen. That one main reason for this is dehydration. Because you don't drink water when you're sitting in an AC room, you don't get thirsty, you don't drink water, because of which you get dehydrated, and that becomes a trigger for headaches and migraine. Other issues can be, you can have dry eyes issues, so that might lead to soreness and itching of your eyes. So in case you have this issue of dry eyes, definitely you should prefer not staying within a AC room. Because it can lead to issues like conjunctivitis, which might be a major issue for you. And we know that asthma and allergies are again getting worsened when you sit in an AC room. So definitely the cleaning of AC has to be given more priority and you have to clean the AC, the filters of the AC on a regular basis so that you do not trigger your asthma and, and any other allergies because of uh, not cleaning the filters of the AC on a regular basis. And uh, we have seen that even lethargy is there in people who are in AC rooms for long. They feel it very sluggish in nature. So that can be uh, one more uh, negative impact of AC. And uh, other uh, health hazards can be leakage, as I told you, from AC because of the refrigerants. And if that leaks, definitely it is going to have a health hazard. So even though there are few benefits of AC, like it can make you comfortable, uh, it can have uh, your improvement in the job performance. It can even exclude the external uh, uh, allergens present in the system. And it can renew your, uh, improve your air quality within the room. But there are more uh, harm that it can cause than it can cause good to you. So definitely you have to think before you sit in such rooms and decide and use it uh, judiciously so that there will be less impacts of this on your health. So coming to a few takeaway messages, we know that it is there everywhere. We cannot avoid it. But there is a chance that we can use it responsibly. And we have to see to it that uh, we use the technological comfort to uh, the level that we re require and not make it a necessity. So reducing the degree uh, by at least one degree, we know that it's going to become a challenge. And uh, by increasing your uh, AC uh, limits by one degree, you can reduce 6% of elect electricity consumed. So apart from that, we definitely know that uh, uh, the sharp decrease in temperatures is going to weaken a human system. That might be one reason why people are more prone to diseases now because of uh, their weakened immune system because of continuous uh, sitting in AC rooms. So coming to few statistics again, the total installed air conditioner capacity in India is going to increase threefold by 2030. And 27% of global warming will be due to the gases emitted due because of the air conditioners. So that is why uh, there's a need for a lot of alternative solutions, which can be uh, helping us in reducing the greenhouse gases to some extent and helping us to reduce the heat waves that I spoke about. 
So a lot of uh, alternative cooling technologies can be planned. And uh, important thing is uh, change in attitude, uh, stringent legislation, and education to people. So this only can help in uh, coming out from these issues. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. So this is uh, this uh, uh, PPT edit editing was done by my student Vasundra. She has helped me with that. Thank you for that. And do subscribe the channel for more updates and uh, keep uh, sharing the, my videos to maximum people that you know. Thank you.